DJ Khaled needs to sample that. First topic of the day is Trump Pito, the okay. Trumpster, President Trump. Our president. Yep. King Trump. My president is orange. <laughs> now it seems Trump is acknowledging that Moscow did, in fact, try to influence the election but only as a way to blame former president Barack Obama for failing to do more to stop it. Trump tweeted, just out, the Obama administration knew far in advance of November 8th about election meddling by Russia. I don't know how to feel about this. He just can't take the blame, can he? <laughs> I feel like, you ever, you ever break something as a kid and then you point your finger at your older sibling? Yeah. That they did it? Yeah. yeah, that's what's happening right now. <laughs> and I don't know if I'm comfortable with the black dude taking the blame for everything. He's taking the blame for it, whether you like it or not. But, I mean, obviously, Obama and Michelle have been out here just chilling, maxing, relaxing, dancing with celebrities, <laughs> hitting the robot, like, probably smoking weed. But, yeah. but he's a private citizen now. <laughs> and I don't know how I feel about these statements being thrown out that he just knows about the Russian meddling because I don't know could could we have stopped it if we knew about Russian meddling in the election yeah we could have stopped it but he blaming the Dems and the diff like the DM like it's going down in the no, DM Democrats oh Democrats oh all right yeah, you've been staying up on your topics and stuff <laughs> <laughs> but but I don't me personally myself what I think in my head I don't, one, I don't think the Obama administration necessarily knew for a fact that it was actual meddling and actual voting. It wasn't a priority. Priority? Yeah. I don't know. And two, he's, Trump is president now. Like, we need to stop dwelling on the past. <laughs> like, he's still talking about how big his audience was at the inauguration. Like, nobody cares. Yeah, no. Nobody cares. When you look at this tremendous sea of love, I call it a sea of love. It's really something special. Can't make yourself relevant, man. Don't do that. Yeah, that's like that's like me trying to hit on a girl and telling her like I got a bunch of money. I know good well I ain't got no money. <laughs> I'm broke. You ain't got a lot, Craig. Bro, my bank account got a negative sign next to it. <laughs> <laughs> like you, you should fix that immediately. <laughs> so, Khloe Kardashian and Tristan Thompson, who Tristan was my Kardashian. Basically, that's what his last name would be. <laughs> are talking about having a baby, and they talking about getting married. married. So, basically, uh, on the season finale of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. That, oh, that's still on. I don't watch it. Yeah, okay. Kim Kardashian was looked to her sister for help and brought Kardashian with her to a doctor to discuss surrogacy. After a brief scare... Kardashian was told, why are they using their name like that? Um, it's Kardashian. <laughs> was told she would have no problems getting pregnant in the future and revealed she stopped taking birth control. And she said, quote, Tristan and I definitely talk about starting a family. I don't know how I feel about this. He already got a family, okay? He, don't he have a six year old kid with yeah. somebody else? Yeah. And looking from Khloe Kardashian's track record, <laughs> she messing up people's lives. Look what she did to Omar. Uh, what's his name? Oh, Omar. <laughs> his name Omar now. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Lamar Odom. My bad. It's not Omar. <laughs> he looked like an Omar. Look at him. Look. <laughs> he still got some crack in the corner of his lip. Oh god. Like, <laughs> like seriously, she messed up his whole life. When? What is? Is he relevant now? Uh, no, nah, not exactly. That, no. Exactly. He was relevant. He was winning championships with Kobe. <laughs> he, he he was out. He was at the top of the list of like people in the world. 
It, but this that look where you had a cookout and they give you just a little bit of mac and cheese <laughs> and you trying to be nice and ask for more. Like, come on. That's all you Honestly, got. Let me, let me get a little more. I ain't eat, eat all day. I waited for this meal. Let me get a little more. But yeah, he shouldn't do that. I mean, it's nice to day together and all, but no, he, he, are, he already taking L's. He better Ooh. off. Lamar Odom or Tristan Thompson? Cause I can know good and well <laughs> Tristan Thompson's taking L's. Play to play, playback real where he just getting in a fight oh, this and is, kissing people. This was, this was, just, this this classic. He like, what you want, cuz? Mmm, mmm, <laughs> give me that lip. Give me that, ooh. <laughs> and they trying to break it up. Like, no kissing on the court. No kissing on the court. Uh-uh, let's get this back. You making up your own words. <laughs> and then, yo, it's another clip of dude. He just getting dunked on by Miles Turner. Whap! This is just fail after fail. I think Khloe Kardashian is the reason he's, like, failing. <laughs> he's the reason the Cavs lost the championship. They said it at the finals. They said the Kardashian curse. And I'm like, why is we promoting this? Because they just famous. They just so famous. Yeah. Mm -mm. I'd go back to the baby mama. Johnny Depp says some, uh, I don't know if it, I would call it outlandish, but he definitely said some controversial things at yeah. Glastonbury. And since then, he's apologized for a remark he made about assassination in regard to President Trump. You can't, you can't joke about that. He said, quote, I apologize for the bad joke. He called it a bad joke. I attempted last night in poor taste about President Trump. I don't know if it was poor taste or he really meant to say it. He seemed kind of serious about it. Have you seen the video? I didn't see the video. We already started with uh, who's the redhead chick with the Trump? Uh, Kathy Griffin. Yeah. Uh, We're going to put a picture of that. Yeah, she just holding the Trump head. Yeah. So, What's yeah, I don't, I don't, that's the first thing that we saw. And then now we got Johnny Depp jokes. I think it's going to keep going. But I still think it's nowhere near as bad as, like, lynching the black president back when Obama was in, in, in turn, his, both of his terms. Yeah, but somebody voted for him. <laughs> but we, we can't joke about killing the president. Like, nah. Yeah, that's bad. It don't matter who it is. I don't care if it's Obama. Because you know the joke was messed up if he got apologized. Like, yeah, what I... And I think he said it right immediately after, too. Yeah, I mean, but you that's something you do apologize immediately after. <laughs> what are you going to do? Come back a month later is like, hey, guys. You know what? That was a bad joke. I feel like I messed up. You know, please forgive me. Mm -mm. Uh, I, wish I, was, I wish I was there in that crowd. For what? In Glastonbury? Yeah. Oh, he's going to go over to the UK? You want to take a nice little Brexit over there? Yeah. I had to walk if I had to. I didn't say breakfast. I said Brexit. Mm -hmm. So, question of the day. Would you rather date someone with their own place but no car or their own car but not their own place? And why? And the trolls come out. It's not trolls. Uh, <laughs> they are trolls. Deja Dixon said, own place. That shows me he has his priorities together. People too focused on having a nice car, but don't have a place to stay and lay their head. Guess they sleeping in that fancy car. And then she put the mm emoji. Right. <laughs> it don't matter if they got their own car on place, as long as we can go shopping. That's all that matters. Uh, scroll down. We gonna read. Go ahead and read Ray Manley's. Uh, post right there. What did he say? What did Ray say? He said, people choosing the car over their place is stupid. An Uber trip costs $10. One night stay at a cheap hotel will run you about 50 Your priorities are backwards. You can call a friend for a ride on the date, but you can't call a room. Call a friend for a room to fuck after the date goes away. <laughs> you should bleep that out. <laughs> but, yeah. Have you ever called a friend? Like, bro, let me come over. I'm about to smash this girl. You ever had that call? No. Um, like somebody gave me that call? Vice versa. I'm not taking that call. <laughs> like, hey, hey, bro, I need to use your bed. No, I'm using my bed. Come on, you got the 800 thread count, bro. Like, I'm you need. Like, what you need 800 thread count for? Like, I don't get this. Uh, who else has something? Uh, scroll down. They're going deep on these. They were going super deep. 
Desi oh. J said on car, cause ain't nobody got time for that. Shoot to the mechanic. Bill coming. <laughs> <laughs> ain't nobody got time for that. Today I got a manicure. Really? And it was kind of nice. I never ever had one ever in life. You do got to do a nail cam. Can we do a nail cam? <laughs> Yeah, man. With the finest of uh, oils and polishness. I, yeah, it was like berries and juice. <laughs> no, I'm fine. This is honey uh, polish. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get it? Did you get them? But yeah, all right. So this is what happened, man. So I was like, yo, my whole life, people have been talking about my nail beds or whatever. I don't know what the things are called, but it I'm... Look, it look like a slave? Basically. Like a slave, man? Yeah, or something. <laughs> so, so like... You know, I was like, yo, let me get this manicure for real. And, like, I didn't know that the stuff in here on your nails is not supposed to be there. No, you ain't supposed to take it out. Also with your feet, too. Yeah, I mean, I never, I don't know what that is. Like, they do, you can do manicures for feet? It's pedicure. Manny Petty. I don't think men should say Manny Petty. Anyway, so this is what happened, right? So, like, she, like, taking the stuff out of the, I learned that these is called cuticles. <laughs> All right. You learn something new, huh? And it's like she was picking like the dead skin off, and I started bleeding. So it immediately made me think, like you know how when you don't brush your teeth for a long time, and you go to brush your teeth, and your teeth gums start bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, don't act like I'm the only one that don't ever do that. Like you go like a week without brushing your teeth, and now your teeth. Ble All right, forget y'all. I know that y'all never y'all did it before. What you say? <laughs> Y'all. 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 You should get that checked out. <laughs> but, so, but, you know, it, she started cleaning them up. And shout out to Asia. You know, she hooked me up over her hair elevation. And Plug. You know, we plugging. And, you know, my nails look better now. I don't know. They're going to grow better, too. And I don't know if I'm going to get this done anytime soon again. But I like how it looks now. She ain't give you a card, like, to come see me again. And, like I, I know where the place is. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's just, like, I can go back there and hey. schedule an appointment. Hey, but crazy. also, I wasn't used to scheduling appointments because I'm used to texting my barber and being like, oh, hey, you cutting today? <laughs> but, like, I don't think you do that for salons. I think you actually make, like, appointments on style seat or something. Right. So, for all of y'all, all, everybody that's, like, get their, like, haircut. You can't just like text your beautician, I guess, or something for getting your manicure. But I just want to put that out there. I got my nails like freshened up, so I, f I yeah. feel fresher. I feel like more ladies want me now. That's <laughs> because your nails did. Yeah, I don't know. Is that a real thing? Do like I feel like I have just a little bit more sauce. So like, say like say you cook like a nice nice steak and it season well, but you just put a little bit of sauce on the side. I was about to say use Old Bay or uh, Lowry's. Oh, no, I'm. <laughs> <laughs> we found out that Lowry's is the one that's hidden. Yeah. But uh, that's pretty much what I'm into today. Like, yeah, definitely. Get, get, fellas, get your hands, uh, do they call them manicured? Yeah. Get, get cured up. <laughs> cure life. Get cure life. Subtitle goes here. <laughs> that's all I got. Yeah. I would hey, wait, we need to shoot a like. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Yeah. 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 So like let's talk to the camera. I'm Willie B. I'm Ill Will. And if you like this video, make sure you like, you comment, and you subscribe. Hit the little buttons in the description. Share it. Hit the little buttons on the video. Wherever do you see the buttons, hit a button, hit a link, and just hit them all. Follow us at the Q brand everywhere. What's this voice? Just, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, share.